Hello, my name is Caleb Parkin and for those of you who haven't seen the first video, I'm a poet and I'm interested in the ways that art can inspire our writing. This is the second of three video workshops about creative writing, particularly poetry, inspired by visual art. Now, what I mean by that are paintings, yes, and photos and sculptures and installations, things you can walk around too particularly from Bristol Museum and Art Gallery, but any other online gallery too, and while we're writing at home. The good thing is, watching this, is you can pause me, or you can uh, rewind to check something I've said, or if you want to take longer to write, of course, that's brilliant, or if you want to go and have a snack, which is fine as well. I really like snacking. These activities are part of our Max Literacy Award. So, Today, which I called You've Been Framed, we will be thinking about a little warm-up poem inspired by some artworks that we like, we're drawn to, and we're thinking about choosing stuff we like. We'll write a longer poem, uh, a ten-line growing poem, and then, uh, which is also inspired by an artwork, and then the third bit, you'll get crafty with an activity called You've Been Framed, and you can do that after the video ends. For today, you will need a computer, or tablet or phone or something with the internet, a website address that we will give you underneath this video, and you can search on there for Bristol's one Bristol Museum and Art Gallery's 1,481 1, artworks. So loads to look through there. You need pen, paper, whatever it is you write on, could be another device, um, coloured cards, fabric, colouring pencils and some safe scissors for your crafting. The next bit I'm going to go on the zoomer sphere because it will be easier to show you the screen so uh, I will transport myself to the zoomer sphere now and see you there in a minute. Hello and virtual greetings. Well, the greetings are real, but the Bristol Museum and Art Gallery behind me is, is virtual. And I've got my green screen in the background up here and I wanted to talk to you from here. I'm not really here um, about the next two activities. Here's how we're going to do this warm up little mini poem. I'm going to share my screen now and hope that it works. Using the link that's underneath this video, we're going to invite you to go into Art UK and then to choose Bristol Museum and Art Gallery because hopefully the link will send you straight there. And as you see, Bristol Museum and Art Gallery has 1,481 artworks, which I tried to say earlier. There it is, 1481. So there's loads to look at. I'd like you to start scrolling, like you might be on eBay or Amazon or something, having a look through, seeing what you find interesting. What are you drawn to. Um, I really like this broken roundabout here. So what I might then do is right click and open that in a new tab. And I'm going to make a kind of longer list of things that I really like, artworks that I find interesting. Okay, I really like this one, the bananas here, and it tells you the names, the owl and the pussycat. There's various other things that I might be um, drawn to and then open in a new tab. From there, I'd like you to choose just three that you find interesting. And I've done that already. And then I'm going to tell you what to do with those three. So if you need to pause me, you can do that now and find your artworks to work with. Once you've done that, here's what you'll do. So I'm going to go through the artworks I chose and describe what I did. In your first artwork, I'd like you to choose an object. So in this one, it's ferry boat, which is one word. I, I think it's one word, ferry boat, because there is a ferry boat, I think a Bristol one, and this is a Beryl Cook painting. OK, so your first painting or artwork is an object. In your second object, sorry, your second artwork, I would like you to select a colour. And in this one, my colour is feather white on that owl in this beautiful David Inshaw painting, Incident in a Landscape. 
Okay, so Feather White is mine. And in your third artwork, let me just try and access that. There it is. So in your third artwork, I would like you to let's just expand this. Describe a feeling that that artwork gives you. And for me, this one is powerful. It's a jet engine test. So quite powerful, I thought there. This is by Peter John Stuckey or Stuckey. And then above those, I'd like you to write, I am your name and today I am, and then those three words. And so mine is, I am Caleb and today I am ferry boat, feather white, powerful. And that's your mini poem. And I'll be back in a second where we're going to work with a different artwork and write a longer poem. OK, now we've made a little poem. We're going to make a bigger poem. We're going to make a 10 line growing poem that starts with one word on the first line and builds to 10 words on the 10th line. To do this, go on Art UK and have a scroll through and find an artwork that you'd like to spend some time with. OK, so you really want to get to know this work of art. And I'm going to share my screen and show you how I've written my 10 line growing poem using an artwork that caught my eye. So if you like, you can pause me now and you can go and find your artwork or you can watch this through and then go and find the work of art you'd like to spend time with afterwards. Here is the painting that caught my eye. This is The Elms by John Armstrong. And I've written a 10 line poem about it. I'll read you the poem and then I'm going to talk you through how I got there and what you can do with the work of art that you're looking at. OK, so elms, splintered timber, peely wallpaper, pink rubble scatters off walls. How the ceiling is gone. Make those clouds messier, more brooding. Are those conical haystacks in the distance? Were they here when this happened? Who left? How is it you remain untouched in the foreground? In this painting, a house erupts like a volcano long dormant. So here's how you can write your own version, which will be totally different about the painting or the work of art that you're looking at. In line one, in one word, I'd like you to pick the most important word from the title. So mine was elms. In line two, in two words, I'd like you to notice an important texture or how you imagine it from that work of art. So mine was splintered timber. In line three, I would like you to, uh, in three words, write down the most striking colour from the painting. So mine was peely wallpaper, pink. You can see it in the middle there of, of this demolished house. In line four, I'd like you to write some sounds that you imagine the poem is making in four words. So mine was rubble scatters off the walls because I'm imagining that happening. In line five, I would like you to write down one thing you love about this painting in five words. So how the ceiling is gone was mine. Line six in six words, of course, is um, what is six? Oh, yeah. What we change about the painting. So what would you change about this painting? Mine was make those clouds messier, more brooding. I felt like the clouds are very neat in this for some reason. I don't know why. In line seven, I'd like you to um, ask a question to the artist. OK, ask a question of the artist. Mine was, are those conical haystacks? 
rocks in the distance because there were two things in the background and I didn't know what they were. They looked like pyramids or something. So that's my question to the artist. In line eight, I'd like you in eight words. So you need to do some counting on your fingers here. I'd like you to ask a question to someone or something in the painting. So mine was, uh, were they were they home when this happened? Who left? Because I was concerned, I think, about the people who lived in this house. In line nine, I'd like you to ask a question again um, that you'd ask something in the painting. So line eight, ask a question to someone related to the painting. And line nine, ask a question of something in the painting. So mine was, how is it you remain untouched in the foreground? And I was talking to the wall. You can see very perfect in the front there. Your last line, your biggest challenge is in 10 words to write a new information sign for this painting, like the thing you would find in the gallery. So mine was in 10 words in this painting, a house erupts like a volcano long dormant because I was imagining that was what's happening in this painting, that the house had erupted. That might take you a while, so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you really get to know a work of art by starting from one word and building up to 10 words. And that's a, a whole fully formed poem there that you can then perform around and about at school or wherever you'd like to. And I'll be back shortly with the takeaway task of this film, which is going to be You've Been Framed. OK, I hope you enjoyed writing your little poem and then your longer poem inspired by artworks. The last thing today is called You've Been Framed. So it's time to grab those craft supplies because you're going to use them now. But first, let's work with a bit of metaphor. Metaphor is where you talk about one thing as another. I'd like you to imagine that you are a work of art, which of course you are, which of course we all are. And I'm going to ask you some questions to write these down, and these will help you to design a frame to go around you. The first one, if my life was a colour, it would be. Now mine I decided was sparkly ice blue today. I don't know why. So you can write that down if you want. If my life was a texture, it would be, and mine is bumpy. So it's sparkly ice blue and bumpy. If my life was a material, something it's made of, and I decided that mine was biodegradable non-plastic. So like plastic, but biodegradable. Okay. And the last one, if my life was a shape, and that can be anything you want. And with each of these, if you want, you can make a list of some of them and then decide which one you think most suits you. So what you're going to use these for is to design a frame and you can then label this if you want. Maybe make a little model of it, or you can make a full size one. You might not be able to get hold of all of the materials you've mentioned or the colors, but you can do a, a mock-up, we can call them. So you can make a smaller version and label it. So my frame is gonna be sparkly ice blue, bumpy, made of biodegradable non-plastic, and it's gonna be in the shape of a speech bubble, okay? So that's your project after this video, is to go and make your frame. In the third and final video in this series of workshops, which I've called Talking Pictures, you can use your frame and we're gonna practice reading from that if you've made one. We're gonna do some paint chart poems and we're gonna think about overlooked details in paintings. And then I'm going to leave you with an activity around the talking gallery. So I look forward to seeing you then.